EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us in downtown New Orleans at the Caesar Superdome. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the New Orleans Saints. And no run back here on the opening kickoff, as we'll start at the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Fake the jet sweep there and instead hand to Kamara. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Carr. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. On third and long, it's Carr. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Kyle Phillips deep for Tennessee. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 20. The NFL's active leader in rush yards, Derrick Henry. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. That's caught by his tight end, Trevon Wesco. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. They'll come up now, third and three. Here's Tannehill. That is caught, and they're able to get this one across the 35. Tannehill on target to Burks, first down, Tennessee. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Henry again on second down. And this is going to be a Titans first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, 
that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. On first down, it's Tannehill. Over the middle, into the hands of Burks. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football as they are looking at a second and five situation. Now Tannehill caught by his tight end, Wesco. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 28. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. Second down and six now. Again, it's Henry. And good running, going to get this down close to a first at the Saints' 19-yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Third and two, Tannehill. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want it to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. They'll bring a tight end in motion. Henry. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Now Tannehill on third and goal. That's to Burks, and he's got it. Touchdown, Tennessee. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Titans post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. throw and the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes it's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack tell you what he did not have much time there to scan the field before he was ducking and covering did it appear to you as it did to me that the defensive front won their play really quickly yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them they were on him in a hurry and he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Blake Gilligan on to punt here as he'll send this one away. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. So we reach halftime here with the visiting Titans taking the lead into intermission. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. The Titans hold the lead, and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 26. He'll start with a give to Henry. And he powers his way up past the 30. Taken down by Pete Werner. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Now second and five. Now it's Tannehill. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defense is because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. 
That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Here's Tannehill. That pass taken in by Burks. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 42. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. He'll complete this one to a cock roll. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Brian Brzee, a first-round pick there on the stop. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. To throw is Tannehill. Now he steps away. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the red zone now, Tannehill. That'll be complete to Okonkwo. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now Tannehill. And he's got it. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Tannehill now on the option left. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Ryan Tannehill scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Titans have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. 
I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Complete. It's Johnson. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. They'll come up first and 10 here. On first down, Carr. And his throw here is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. They'll come up now on second down. Throwing now is Carr. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. Carr to throw again. Alave holds it in. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They come up now on second and two. Now Carr. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Carr. That's caught by Johnson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's second down. Here's Carr. His throw incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. A big play in this football game. Third down and one. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. 
That means it's just... And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Now Carr, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Now a second and six. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll run it again with Henry. And he is going to have a Titans first down, and that should just about do it. Titans go victory formation as they take an E. Brent, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but hey, all they needed was... Uh, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Uh, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three. And they got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, you did know. Did enough, though. Did enough. But, yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Till next time, we say so long from the Bayou.